Naked Olivia Coleman. Does she regret getting naked for confetti? I don't know. I do know, however, as I read in an interview, that she was told she would be quite heavily pixelated, and she was not, and did not find out until the screening. So that is slightly worrying. However, confetti as a film, for me as a spectator, is incredible. This is one of those fantastic best of British films and I will talk about the narrative. There will not be any spoilers apart from the fact that Olivia Colman gets naked but if you google this film there are a lot of uh, discreet images. They're not in your face images but that's not really a spoiler. In fact that's that plays a very key part in the narrative because we have these three different type of couples and she and her husband very much or fiance very much like to be naked all of the time. If you're wondering, her husband fiance is played by Robert Webb, who is also naked for most of the film. So I will go over the narrative, my likes, dislikes, no spoilers, but I just want to give you a look at the cast because I just cannot get over how incredible this cast is. Um, the film was directed and written by Debbie Izzett and it was released in 2006 and the cast is just insane. It is absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to whiz down the cast list and just pluck out names. So Martin Freeman, Jessica Hines, Stephen Mangan, Robert Webb, Olivia Coleman, Jason Watkins, Jimmy Carr, Alison Steadman, Mark Wooten, Sarah Hadland. Uh, have another quick whiz down. Those are kind of the main ones. Yep, the rest are all supporting cast. That's incredible. I mean, Olivia Coleman and Sarah Hadland in the same film. And Jessica Hines, it's wonderful. So, the narrative itself. The plot from IMDb is as follows. A mockumentary that follows three couples as they battle it out to win the coveted title of most original wedding of the year. So we have three very distinct... Um, did I mention Jimmy Carr? Jimmy Carr is in it. We, three different couples, as I said, Coleman plays... Coleman and uh, Robert Webb are naked for most of it. They're very distinct. They have a very... Um, a Midsummer Night's Dream kind of theme going on there. It's, it's it's really lovely. And so each of the three couples, they have a kind of different, unique approach to what they want for their wedding. And there's a tennis player and all of the different kinds of things. Sarah Hadland plays a dancer or a dance teacher, uh, one of the two. And it's great fun. I'm not going to tell you what each of the three couples kind of main focus is because that's part of the fun of finding it out. But this narrative, is it's great fun. I love the concept. I love the narrative idea. The plot is very well executed. I think the pacing is great. It has quite a high amount of problems insofar as, you know, they're getting ready for the wedding and there's a glitch or a hiccup or something isn't going right for them. It's not overloaded with issues. It does flow quite nicely. And I think that works really well. The three couples are different enough to make it very fascinating. We obviously have PTCs with each of the couples and it feels, I mean, you have to suspend disbelief a little bit to feel like you're watching an actual documentary and not a film. It doesn't feel too forced. It feels like it could be a documentary. But I think there was no point when I kind of lost the fact that it was a film. Cast, obviously incredible. Plot, brilliant. Performances, fantastic. The kind of the all singing, all dancing finale I thought was really great when we see these three weddings coming into fruition and seeing what they actually end up looking like. It's great fun to see the build up to that and how they come about. So that I thought was particularly fascinating as well. I have zero interest in wedding films or wedding shows, but this is just something completely different and absolutely fantastic. I did watch it originally because of the cast, I'm not gonna lie. I saw Olivia Coleman and Robert Webb, Jessica Hines, Jimmy Carr. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. I'm definitely going to watch that. And it turns out that I was also going to fall heavily in love with it. I feel like it's quite an underrated film, to be honest. Certainly as far as British films go. To me, this is the best of British. I think it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, please do. It is incredible. And let me know your thoughts. And let me know your favourite wedding couple as well. I don't need to tell you who my favourite is. I promise you'll love the film.